Wiggins. I work with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System, and I wanted to talk a little bit today about handling these heifers that we plan to, to market, uh, whether it's in a, a organized sale or, or marketing them off the farm. Uh, there's a lot of videos and information out there regarding handling cattle and actually moving cattle. In those videos, you'll hear the terms uh, flight zone, uh, pressure and release, point of balance. You know, those are all important things to know when it comes to actually moving cattle. But I wanted to talk more ab about actually how we handle these cattle or manage these cattle uh, leading up to a sale. So one of the biggest things I would recommend doing uh, in preparing heifers for a sale is to actually spend time around these heifers. Um, spending time around them allows them to get used to people being around them. In a lot of instances that have calmed some of these animals down. Um, you know, and once they get used to you uh, walking through them and uh, get accustomed to you being there, it's, sometimes it's a good idea to bring somebody else with you just so that they get more accustomed to, to multiple people being around. Spending that time there also allows you to identify some of those animals that, that maybe are not going to settle down or maybe they are a little more nervous and skittish. Uh, you know, those may be some animals that, that you may not want to put through the sale. Of course, knowing your customers, knowing the kind of animals that they want, uh, you know, that may not be an issue. You know, there, there's some that are accustomed to having those kind of cattle that are a little more skittish or nervous, uh, and they're okay with that. But uh, there's a lot more producers today that docility is one of those traits that they're looking for in the cattle. Uh, and, and being around them more can make them more docile uh, and is in a, a marketing tool uh, for you to take advantage of. Uh, it also allows you to identify some of those animals that maybe are too aggressive. Uh, we don't need to be marketing animals that are too aggressive and it's going to get someone hurt. So if you can identify those animals, you know, it's something you probably want to cull from the herd, but you really don't want to be sending those to somebody else's place uh, that could possibly cause them harm. So another thing to consider when marketing these heifers uh, is their calving dates. Depending on if you're marketing these animals off the farm or if you're taking them to a, a um, organized sale, uh, that can influence what animals you may want to take to the, to the sale as well. If their calving date falls right on top of uh, a, a sale date, you know, those animals may not want to, you, you may not want to send to the market. You know, it's already a stressful time when you're trying to catch these animals up, uh, put them on a trailer, take them to a sale barn. So those animals that, that fall on that sale date or their calving date falls close to that, that sale date, you may want to look at either keeping those animals or marketing those animals at an earlier time in their pregnancy to avoid possible, possible problems uh, at a sale. One thing to keep in mind when you're marketing heifers, and especially if you're marketing heifers off the farm, is to have a facility where you can actually show those heifers uh, to, to potential buyers. Uh, if you see here, we've got uh, multiple pens and that we could bring the heifers up in. Um, we've got an elevated platform here that allows the potential buyers to get up a little bit above the heifers, um, and it gives them the opportunity to get a good view of the heifers. Uh, so they can then uh, look at things like their feet and other structural soundness uh, attributes from the cattle.